All right, today we're back out in the shop with Alex and uh, Garrett uh, decided to join us today to uh, give Alex a hand. And uh, since yesterday, Alex, you've made some progress. You've got this uh, piece on. Yeah. You might just tell the uh, viewers what this is and kind of what you guys are up to this afternoon. Yeah, that's uh, the head of the motor and we're in our final step, torquing it down. It goes in three steps, starting with 100 foot pounds. Then next step is 160, and the 160 goes then plus 90 degrees. So we mark the screws, and then just turn them 90 degrees. That's oh. what comments recommend for that. Okay, so you said for the 32 bolts, you, there's 32, right? Yeah. Right. Um, you start with 100, and there's a sequence you follow, right? Yes. And then you go back, and you follow that same sequence, and you do 160? Yes. And then you do the 90? Correct. All right. We'll, we'll watch your way you do one. <coughs> a little bit more. Right there. And that was the 90? Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. 29. This one. Oh, the one here on my side. Yeah. A little bit more. Maybe. Right there. Sure. Since 30. Right, this here. Right there. 131. That's gonna be on your side. It is. Yep, that's pretty good. So guys, start to finish on these, what would you say it's taken so far to do all these 32? Is it taking a while? It did, yes. Okay. We've had other stuff to do. Yeah, so. that's true. But yeah, you do this for every bolt for all the three steps, like then almost a hundred times. Yeah, literally. <laughs> right there. Okay, that's perfect. Now, do you have to put any anti seize on the threads of the bolt, or no, is that just, necessary? They, they, they just get an oil film of normal motor oil on it. Okay. So <clears throat> they cannot drip. You cannot have any oil in the bore of the block. The oil couldn't escape anymore, so they need to be blown out before okay. and cleaned. And then just put a touch of oil on the bolts before you put them in, and then you just start your torque down procedure. Gotcha. So what are we looking at here, Alex? We're, we literally have the uh, 3,000 pound engine raised up here, and Alex is gonna show us uh, the push rods, is that what you call them? Yeah, the connecting rods. The connecting rods. Yeah, they're, they're basically here, like, this is where the piston is attached to, like if you go in here now, yeah. if you would, one take a look in here like this one is just on the bottom point there there's your oh yeah all cooling that. nozzle and the new piston with the new liner and then we have the connecting rod here on the crank and yeah yeah that's how it looks like so those bottom pieces are all new no no the crank the crank and the connecting rods and so on we reused we just put new bearings on it Okay. So there was no visible damage to them, so you can just reuse them. And now were the old bearings, did they show sign of, signs of wear? Not significantly, no. Like that's what I just had in my hands over there. Right here. That's how they look like. Like, they're, they were not bad. I mean, it looks like usual for the amount of hours that the motor had. Um, okay. Like nothing, nothing majorly wrong with them. But if you put 
new liners and pistons in there, then you just replace them. Okay. We're back out in the shop and uh, we're just getting uh, back up to speed on the progress that Alex and Garrett have made here today. So Alex, you wanna give us a quick update on what you're doing and uh, what lies ahead? So like right now, just putting back on the pickup tube for the oil pump. And this is the pickup tube, correct? This is the pickup tube, yes. And, and you can uh, kind of see there's a, there's a screen here, right. which is interesting to prevent that bigger pieces go into the lubrication system. Yeah. We now, got... the oil, you know, down here, is right. it, has it been ran through the fil filter yet? Or is it, you know, is a, there's a filter upstream of this tube? No, the filter is only on the oil return side. Like okay. It comes from the filter, goes back in the oil pan, and gets picked up. Okay, so yeah. that's why that screen would be there, just in yes, case something. Just, just in case if some major parts would fail, that it doesn't go in the system. Okay. So a quick update on progress today. I know you've added uh, an additional piece on the top. And what was the name of that piece again? We put the hat on and the rocker cover. Okay. The valves, the injectors, push rods. Basically, everything is back in the head. You can see our table was empty. I see that. So there looks like there's one more cover that goes on top of that. That's correct. That's this one there on the floor. Okay. But that's just the final cover. It doesn't have any technical purpose except to seal oil. Okay. Is there much uh, pressure in that? No. Just oil shooting up? And then Garrett, you were cleaning up the gasket here on the bottom, correct? Yeah, I'm just trying to get all the, what, the old gasket was on here, trying to get it all cleaned off so when we put the new one on, it can seal right and not have any problems. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So how far do you think you're out to uh, cranking it for the first time? We're getting close. Getting close. We're getting close. So, so hours and maybe not days type of measurement? Hours, yes. <laughs> And Alex, uh, you're just applying a little bit of grease before the gasket goes on? Yeah, just that it sticks. So instead of like a silicone, this is, this is better than like a silicone? A silicone you couldn't really use because it's a paper gasket. So yeah, they, they wouldn't like each other, the two. <clears throat> Paper and silicone doesn't really seal good together. Okay, they don't. And um, yeah, that's just to keep it in place so that it doesn't move when we put the bolts up. Okay. Other than that, it has no uh, properties of really sealing things. No, not really. Maybe rust prevention a little bit, but it shouldn't rust in any way. And just so the viewers know, <clears throat> this is a John Deere yellow color, and the guys attempted to uh, get the uh, original yellow color that you can see here on the uh, engine block, but it was unavailable. Luckily, you won't see it. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you give me a screwdriver from there? The, one of my blue ones, so that we can line this up. It's not lined up here in the front.
You have a swivel? 